sacrificial service to God and humanity is an innate virtue oftentimes activated by the Holy Spirit. From the beginning of creation, God had a reason for creating man, and that purpose is to love and serve him, which leads to fulfillment of destiny, giving meaning to life. Personal experience of God's grace in salvation leads to generosity. This is the case of two beloved sisters, Esther Ime Ogaga and Victoria Okotie, who have found fulfillment in serving God and humanity genuinely. Not only have they offered their lives and bodies to God as a living sacrifice, their sense of sacrificial giving is worthy of note. Even when they had serious financial needs, the two sisters overflowed in a wealth of generosity, thus creating personal initiative to build for the Lord, a project firmly supported by Elder Paul Ogaga. Twenty years ago, their dream was to build a chapel where members of the National Association of Adventist Students, Federal University of Technology, MENA, Niger State Chapter, could comfortably assemble and carry out their fellowship activities while in school. Several years ago, my wife, then Esther Ime, before she became Esther Ime Ogaga, and her sister, Victoria Okotie, uh, thought of this idea of setting up a church for the NAS uh, students. That was when the church, uh, the students uh, were still at Boso, uh, the campus. But when the idea of moving it to this permanent site was uh, initiated by the school, then they thought of an idea to have a place of worship right here, opposite the school. And so they decided to come and survey the area and they bought this parcel of land over 20, about 20 years ago. And um, they had the idea of setting up a church here. They handed it over to NAS and for a long time uh, it was a bit slow in their progress. But um, just this year and last year we started conceiving the idea of actually putting up this building here because uh, we presumed that the students may have some financial challenges. And so we took it upon ourselves to set this edifice here, this building. Uh, Victoria and her sister did the buying of the land several years ago, but the three of us now decided to just put this building up and this is what we have here today. It's something that we want to um, give God all the glory for, not to us. We are not important, we are not in the equation. It's all about God and God alone. To the glory of God. On Saturday, November 14th, 2020, the dream became a reality as the worship center, testfully built and well furnished with brand new chairs for worship, courtesy of Esther Ime Ogaga, Victoria Okotie and Elder Paul Ogaga, was officially dedicated and handed over to the leadership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Northern Nigeria. The dedicatory service was awesome. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for today. Today is a special day in Mina. Mina Church and Mina District. Northern Nigerian Union Conference is blessed. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for using individuals to put some smiles on us. All right. It means heaven is together with us in this mission. Amen. Uh, we have two uh, tapes uh, to be caught here. Uh, this is the main entrance. And you know we are here to dedicate the building. We would like the union uh, director Pastor I.B. Maigadi, who is in charge of uh, PCM, to cut the first one, then the second one will be done accordingly. So cutting the tape, the entrance, in the name of God, the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Continue. We are going to sing 
To God be the glory for the great things he has done unto us. To God be the glory, great things he has done, so loving the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and that all men for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord. much as God in his infinite mercies will trust his resources to individuals who are trustworthy and in response to the grace bestowed on them they decide to build this edifice for the Lord Amen to get him a dwelling place as he dwells amongst us. Amen. We want to dedicate this uh, edifice to the glory of God Amen. so that it can be a light in this community. Amen. So that the house can be called a house of prayer for my people. Amen. It will be a place also where God will be worshipped in truth and in spirit. Amen. It will be a place where sinners will come to meet the Savior and be converted. Amen. It will be a place where preaching of Christ and his word will be done. Amen. A place for fellowship of God's own family. Amen. A place where our children will receive their salvation. Amen. A place where God will dwell amongst his people. Amen. And for this reason, we dedicate this place in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For this tape. And the same way as we are entering the church today, we will all enter into the heavenly kingdom. Amen. By entering, shall we sing to the glory of God. To God be the glory, great is he has The help of the needy, for the relief of the distress, for the hastening of Christ's Coming. We dedicate this house to thee, O God. Amen. Amen. Through the dedicatory service that we are doing today, may the Lord speak and touch someone to see what is passion. To be passionate is to say and do it. To be passionate is to do the right for God. Amen. Let God's will be done and may we be partakers of the divine grace. Amen. May the Lord unite us and bless us. Amen. May the Lord sanctify us. Amen. May the Lord protect our lives and the abiding and the anointing of God the Father. Amen. May the Lord the Son. Amen. May the Lord the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, O Lord, for blessing your children with resources with intellect, with ability, with passion, with an understanding of what the mission is all about. There is no mistake in all that you do. You impress in the heart of your children, first of all, to purchase this land to keep it aside, not for their self-aggrandizement, but for the cause of the mission. Mm -hmm. You impress in their heart to develop it, to become a sanctuary 
a place where people can come and worship you and meet with you and receive salvation and be prepared for eternity. We thank you because it is only by your grace that they can respond to your salvation. I ask and commit your son, Elder Paul Ogaga, you have tested him and found him worthy. He humbled himself before you today to say that all glory be returned to you. Amen. We joined him by saying, take the glory. Amen. And bless your son, Amen. his wife, and Amen. the sister, Amen. and any other person who has passion for this world. Amen. We raise our hands upon him. Amen. Release the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. May it come down from heaven Amen. to touch his head to the top. Amen. Purify your son. Amen. Sanctify him. Amen. Sanctify his wife. Amen. Purify her. Amen. And bless them, O oh Lord, Amen. that the blessings will overwhelm them. Amen. Soon we will rejoice with them. Amen. Thank you for the congregation. May we continue to pray for him. Amen. Thank you for the architect. May you also bless him. Amen. Thank you for the student yes. who are going to use this place as a worship center. Amen. May they continue to meet Jesus here. Amen. May their investment never go unrewarded. Amen. Above all, reward them with the unction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Above all, reward them with eternal life. Amen. May heaven be a place of their heart. Amen. As many that will come here with bodies, yes. as they enter into this place, may their bodies be lifted up. Amen. As many that will come here with sickness, as they come in, O oh Lord, may they receive healings in the name of Jesus. Amen. As many that will come into this sanctuary with whatever may be the problem, I ask that Jesus attend to their need. Amen. Thank you for doing this, O oh Lord, unto <laughs> us. I commit him and lift him up unto you in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salama Gareko Salama Gareko Salama Gareko Yanua Salama Gareko Masubi Ina Mondova Doha Fuskorkimo Chikeda Mona Chikeda Farinchiki
Various leaders of the church who attended the event graciously expressed their joy and appreciation to the donors. How can a student buy a plot? Where do you think he gets the money? A student buying a plot. It's a sacrifice, my brother. It's a sacrifice. For a student, when I had it, I was, I was dead. And I pray God help me. Even though I am a pastor, they help me, where can I also come in? We cannot wait until we acquire and acquire. It will not come. When you are waiting until you acquire and acquire, it will not come. Just use what you have and give unto the Lord at the appropriate time. When we say we are one, united in Christ, we don't understand. This is what we call united in what? We are one. We thank God for what has just taken place here in Mina. And this edifice that has just been dedicated to the glory of God, we thank the family of Ogaga to build this big church and a personage so that the name of God will be projected. And the students here at the Federal University of Technology, Mina, will be worshiping. And that means that from now on, sort, people at this environment will come to know the church, Seventh-day Adventist. To the family, words cannot explain. We cannot pre appreciate the family enough for what they have done. The Lord will continue to bless the family and will continue to replenish them to do more exploits for the Lord. I pray that all that has been spent here, the Lord will bless you. And as he blesses you, may you do more in other places. To the church in Mina, challenge has been given unto us. Let us unite with the students here and make sure that evangelism is carried here so that people will come to know about Jesus. And then, as a conference, we promise to synergize with the students, making sure that this edifice is used according to the reason why it was built. I call upon the students never to misuse this uh, building. Let them come here every now and then and seek the face of the Lord. This is a place whereby when they come and worship God, they will have the sources of their education and the Lord will always make them to uh, excel in their academics. These donors, I have never seen them. I don't know them. But the Lord impressed this work in them and they came here and did this magnificent work. I will say that may the Lord continue to bless them. May the Lord bless their family. May the Lord bless whatsoever they do. The Lord has been so faithful to us as students. Uh, today is a very special day for us. Myself, I'm very happy. And I know the students are also happy because of uh, this wonderful edifice, a wonderful church that uh, was built and presented to the students here in Mina. The Lord has been so faithful and um, we must really thank God for using his servant to donate this wonderful church to us. We accept it wholeheartedly. We accept it with two hands. And I know that the Lord will take the glory as the student continue to worship in this church in Jesus' name. We really appreciate this gesture. Thank you. The donors of this building uh, from the land and even the uh, sponsoring of the building in, in Tele were former students of the Federal University of Technology here I mean, and members of the Adventist Student Fellowship. They experienced the challenge while on campus of having a place of worship. And today, God has blessed them and they have remembered where they started from by erecting such a building so that other students that are coming up and those that will come in future will not encounter the challenge that they face during their own time by giving this place of worship. So it is indeed 
uh, a good thing. It is indeed something that we are grateful unto God and thankful to them too uh, that God has impressed in their heart to do such a wonderful gesture. And I believe that more and more students will benefit from this gesture. Now, they don't have to travel all the way about uh, 10 kilometers or thereabout to the main church for worship. Uh, normally, they don't even go for midweek. They don't even go for, they only go once in a while when there is combined service. But now, they have a place, just a stone throw from their institution. And uh, by God's grace, I believe that more students who will be coming in here will benefit from this structure. And uh, it is a challenge too to other students to always remember where they are coming from. That by the time they leave, and God blesses them. They also in turn come back to their various institutions and do something that will support. And that's how the church continues to grow. The church is not the general conference. The church is not uh, the union. But each and every one of us, we make up the church. So we thank God for this. And I believe that the student will benefit greatly. And uh, not only the, 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 the structural building of the church, they have also uh, provided a place where a pastor, a chaplain, will lodge, will stay, and also take care of the student. And uh, I believe we will be working together with the conference to ensure that a chaplain is also here, assigned to this place of worship, that he will continue to mentor and groom more and more students to the glory of God. So we praise God for this, and we pray that the Lord will richly bless the donors of this wonderful project, in Jesus' name. We, we are so grateful that someone who was a student can still recall the good days God has led that fellow. And as David, as Joseph, as Daniel, they were young and they still remembered the Lord. And because of their commitment, God lifted them up. You as students, we call them National Association of Adventist Student NAS. There are some that are in public universities. We call it public campus ministry. Please do not go and, as you are in the university, remember the Lord. Because while you are young, the days are coming whereby you will not enjoy them. Be in the university, maintain your identity. Be connected with Christ. Praise God. When you graduate, when you are blessed with work, don't forget to thank the Lord because this is one lesson for us students that we can learn. You are young, when you grow, don't forget to thank God. As this family has done, students should remember to thank God. You may not build a property. You may win souls. You may not pro develop property. You may train some medical doctors. You may not um, train some doctors. You may also train some pastors. You can mentor. There is what we can do. So students, it's a lesson that I have seen what a student can do. You also can do something. Esther and Paul Ogaga and Victoria Okoti, we would like to praise God for him to richly bless you and give you more vision to do more exploits. But that's the donors. Let's thank God. Let's not forget the main thing. God is to be praised. He is worthy because the fullness of the earth is the Lord. God is to be praised. Let's develop and train our children that when they grow, they will not depart and forget the Lord. For remembering the Lord. May the Lord bless and uh, bless our children. For me in a church that we are i um, so lucky to have this edifice. May we be grateful to God. And what is the gratefulness? What you can tell the Lord and say you are grateful is to win more souls, is to develop and have another branch. That is one thing to appreciate to God. And for you who is watching this, what can you show evidently that you thank God? It's just to win souls. If you can, train the youth. If you can, build property and donate to God. That's my appreciation and we give praise to God. As the director of chaplaincy ministry, campus ministry, 
That's our prayer. Praise be the name of the Lord. For Esther Emil Gaga and Victoria Cotier, who were former students of the Federal University of Technology, Mina, their dreams did not only come through, it has also reactivated the call of selfless service to God and humanity. Today, standing at Gidangkwano, opposite Federal University of Technology, Mina, Niger State, Nigeria, is the Seventh-day Adventist Church building, a chapel where God's name is to be continually honored by Adventist students and church members alike.